their appreciation for the men and women of America's armed forces is top on the wildlifers list. You know, in my opinion, the most important hunt that we do every year. Each year, they have the pleasure of hosting Purple Heart recipients for a week of chasing whitetails. Somebody showed a little interest in the fact that uh, we did serve. With the rut kicking in, everyone's fired up and ready to relax and chase some whitetail. before the veterans arrive and the team is finishing up preparations for the week's hunt. We're gonna head out into the field. We've got a couple of deer on the south end of the ranch that we're gonna go try to target this week. Got some clients coming in tomorrow afternoon. The weather's starting to cool off a little bit. Getting real close to that magical time of year. We have five days to get it done. We're gonna try to do it in less than that, but I think it uh, should be an exciting week. These deer have been coming out about 160 yards to the north of us. So we're gonna get a little blind set up in here. To give an opportunity to Purple Heart recipients to go on a hunt that perhaps they otherwise wouldn't get that opportunity. And I think the biggest purpose of it is just a simple thank you. You know, I wish we had the land and the places to stay and the deer numbers we would need to give one of those hunts to every single person that got a Purple Heart each year. But that's, you know, in my opinion, the most important hunt that we do every year. This is our 12th year to do the men's veteran hunt here at the ranch, and it's, it's just a huge success. We just enjoy them getting a great quality animal and just a overall wonderful experience. Something that they're just so deserving of that could never compare to what they've done for us. You get some super positive feedback. You get emotionally touching feedback. That's why I, I enjoy this hunt so much. It's so nice to be able to, to do something for this guys that you can tell they genuinely appreciate. Um, it, it's like nothing else you can give back. In the mystery case, here are some hats, socks. See, these people know me. Oh, no way. Quite frankly, they came millimeters from losing their life. They swore in, gave that oath, and they served this country with the highest of honors. If we would take personal responsibility to go out there and talk to these guys, we'd realize how much of themselves they've given on our behalf. We live in the greatest place in the world, but we live in that because men and women of our armed services from the very founding have shed their blood to protect that freedom, the pursuit of happiness, and to be the best you can be. You're gonna this love is it. Uh, custom, and I can tell you the man that makes those would really love it if you would use it. Oh my gosh. Being around the other veterans shows me that there's people out there that have experienced the same experiences that I have and are going through the same things as I am and it's always good to get around them. It's always a good feeling to have that relief of being able to talk to that person that has that complete understanding of exactly what you're going through. Sean Stevenson is the uh, knife maker that makes those. Yeah, he does an excellent job. That's amazing, I'm putting it on right now. There you go, I like it. He will oh, love that you're nice. using it. That is amazing. Well, hey, and I'll tell you what, whoever goes hunting with me, they don't have no excuse for not gutting their own deer. Uh -huh. <laughs> they got a nice sharp knife on the field and gut their own. You guys ready to go do a little hunting? We'll go through the range, shoot a couple shots, make sure the Air Force didn't throw your rifles off the top shelf. And there we go. Go do some hunting tonight. Go set in some blinds and look for a big old deer. We get really good feedback, but we also get what I consider to be really sad feedback. I can't tell you how many we've gotten here and talked to afterwards that said, this is the first thing anybody has ever done for us that is remotely a thank you for what we've done. 
I don't think one year that we've done this has anybody ever come in and not said, I cannot believe you're doing this for me. And that blows me away. Go pretty good. He said it was on, so we'll see. Ready to get out there and, I mean, like I said, I'd be just as happy shooting at these targets all weekend as I would shooting at any deer around here. This is unreal. My name is Ronnie Parkinson. I'm from Henderson, North Carolina. I was drafted in 67, and during that time, people had a different outlook on the military in general. And that's why I'm so enthused about being here today. Somebody showed a little interest in the fact that uh, we did serve in Vietnam, and, and Zach and Dustin were in Afghanistan, and they deserve the best treatment also as far as serving the country. There's, there's four or five bucks coming in here. Four of them are pretty big ten points, but they're young, they're like four years old. And there's two older bucks, one of them we're not gonna bother with. He's not big enough, but the other one is the one we're looking for. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's a bunch of bucks coming in here. It'll be fun to see it anyway, because we're gonna see a lot of big deer. got a deer that we've been watching for many years. He's a very old buck. He's going to be very smart. I think he'll like him, so that's what we're going to go after. We're going to put some time into this deer. Hopefully he'll make a mistake and come out in the daylight. Uh, my name is Zachary Graybill. Uh, I'm a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps. I live in Sneeds Ferry, North Carolina. When I was told that I was going, I was selected as one of the honor hunt recipients. I instantly grabbed my rifle and broke it down and started cleaning it and I was just super excited. This segment is brought to you by Mellon Creek Outfitters, Texas free range hunting at its best. With a 110,000 acre ranch and 3,000 square foot lodge, clients can hunt deer, hog, turkey, predators and more. Mellon Creek Outfitters, raising standards, not fences. I was on a uh, mobile patrol north of Hellman and uh, I was attached to a uh, Georgian battalion as a uh, recovery vehicle op operator. We were recovering a downed vehicle uh, that had been struck by an ID and during the recovery uh, my vehicle uh, was struck by a 250 pound ID. I was flown to uh, Germany, where it was discovered that I fractured uh, two of my vertebrae. It was rough. Uh, it was a rough, long, long nine months of recovery. Something that sticks with you. Most of our time we spent, uh, we corned a lot of roads, you know, we, we rode around in glass and covered a lot of country. Uh, we did do a little bit of rattling here and there. Um, we weren't really all that successful with it. It was still a little bit early, but the majority of the deer we looked at were kind of safari style hunting, if you would. It was later one morning when we found Dustin's deer. We were actually headed back to the lodge and I thought we might all just make one little loop out in the pasture close to camp. And lo and behold, we drove down the road half a mile and he was standing right off the, right off the shoulder of the road. It happened real quick. Before I could even get my binoculars up, Hagen said, that's, your, that's the buck you need to take. All right, he's coming out right there. He's on the right. He's on the right. Hang on. He's going to walk out right in that opening. You see him? Yeah. I can see his horns. Very nice. 
Dustin's just right around the corner. He heard our gunshot. And they're gonna they're gonna come down here and uh, recover this deer with us and take a look at him and see what they think. So we'll just hang on just a second. He's right here coming down the road. So we'll give him a second, let him get up here, and we'll go check him out. I can't wait to get my hands on him. got close to the lodge and still kind of early so we thought we'd sneak down here and see what we could see and we saw a buck coming out here so we pretty good deer decided we'd go ahead and shoot him and then Dustin drove back up and asked us if we had seen a little eight point with a kicker so we're gonna go show that deer to Dustin yeah yeah we just <laughs> happened to pull around the corner coming back here I was gonna come look for this deer I seen him yesterday and I was just about five minutes late because they got him but let's go see what it looks like Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Good shooting. Thank you. This is, that is a heck of a buck. Chocolate. Real chocolate horns. I love that look. Yeah. I can't thank you guys enough. It's been a trip of a lifetime to say the least. Man, I'm at a loss. I usually can't shut up, but <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. This is, this is amazing. He's a real pretty buck. He'll look real pretty on the wall. When I was in Afghanistan, my team and I were conducting a, a patrol in Helmand province, we had, we're going out looking for a weapons cache and some IED labs. And, and we were out there for about 48 hours. Uh, we're on our way back and we just made it out of like one of the most dangerous places, I'd say. It's like almost a guarantee you're gonna get shot at. And we're cruising right along, riding this ridge line. And I'm facing backwards, kind of like sit down for a little bit, take a little, you know, take a breath. It's, it's been a good day and uh, it just, it hit some point in time, rattled around um, and, and woke up, laying on the inside of the truck, um, coughing because all the smoke and the, and the debris and dust and anything from the explosion was in there. Thankfully, all of us were all right. Uh, we got banged up pretty good in the head, but everyone made it out of there that day. And uh, we got picked up and brought back to base. Dustin hit the rattling horns in a couple areas on the way to the blind to see if he could get a buck to respond. But with no action, they dug into the blind for the evening's hunt. You know, we're sitting in the blind and, and it's getting to that time of the day where you know that the bigger, older bucks are gonna start getting up and moving. It's not real cold and it's kind of warm. And, and I just happen to look up and I, I see something moving coming down a fence line and hey man, it's the right deer. You know, you, you always hope that it happens like that, but it doesn't always work like that. We just happen to see the correct deer, he's headed our way. So we just gotta get ready and, and wait for him to present a shot. How about that? Five Come minutes? Come get in there. Five minutes and Sit stand. down, get quiet. Comes right in. Oh boy. Oh, it's a beautiful man. There he is, man. Holy crap. Go put your hands on him. Yeah. Oh my heavens. That is an old warrior right 
This is by far the biggest deer I ever shot. This is amazing, man. I mean, well, I can't I thank you, you enough. What, I would. I am so thankful that you get to take him home. You know, we take a lot of people hunting every year. I get to do a lot of hunting myself. And, and besides taking my own son hunting, taking you guys is my favorite hunt of all, all year long. Man, I, I appreciate it. This is this was an amazing hunt. I mean, he's a he's a big, mature, mature buck. I mean, he's a beautiful old deer. I mean, To nominate someone for this hunt or to find out more information on hunting with Mellon Creek Outfitters. We could be unstoppable if everybody would come together and be united. But everybody's got their own idea is hooray for me and so be it with you. But uh, we need more unity and, and more God in our country. I wouldn't have any luck finding the deer that I had in mind. I got with Pat. He said, yeah, we've got one down there where he hunts. All right, Ronnie, so what we're going to do this morning is if we get the right deer out here, he comes out on this high line, we'll get you out, get you on a rest, maybe this backpack back here. Get your gun up there, make sure you're nice and comfortable. When, when he's within range, we'll try to get a shot off of him. You, you all right with that? Yes, sir. Okay, good deal. Yeah, we just got out started glass, and, and it wasn't very long that deer came out. He's the last deer in the back. What we're gonna do is, once they get a little bit closer, we're gonna get you on the backpack. Make sure you're nice and steady. When you got a clear shot, we'll take him down. All right. Does that sound all right? Yes, sir. thrill just to watch. I think it was six all together, but uh, it's one less now. Thank you all, thank you, thank you. Yes sir, thank you. This is nice. It's, it's a treat having you guys down here and getting me able to do this. So. I think you put the hammer on them. Let's give them a minute, we'll go see if we can't find them. All right, yes sir. Good deal. Yeah, boy, that's a nice brown deer. Yes, sir, it is. Big old body on him. And you absolutely put the smack down on him. All right, yes, sir. One heck of a shot. Thank you. Come on back here, we'll get you to hold him up. Take a look at this beautiful animal. Looks like he's been rubbing. It's getting to be that time of year, they're starting to, yes, sir. Starting to get ready for cold weather. And Great face and all, doesn't he? He got little age on. Yes, sir, he does. Thank you all, thank you. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. It's great having you down here and getting to experience this with you. And he didn't go but 30 yards. Yes, sir. It's almost like you've done this before. <laughs> Once or twice. Heck of a shot on him. So, number one. Is Miss America kissing me on the cheek? Miss America Miss kissed Biden you on the cheek? 1968. Oh boy. That's Number two is you coming and hunting with us? That's right. Took that a lot. Hey. <laughs> hey, I agree. I, <laughs> Miss America kissed me on the cheek. Hey, that would be number one, too. Okay, I got that. Would <laughs> well, you guys have a good time this week? Absolutely. I mean, you know, uh, we enjoy taking you guys. We do this every year, and Bill does a great job of you know, putting you guys together, getting you here. We just get to take you hunting, and we truly appreciate y'all's service. It's just an honor to take you guys up. I appreciate it, sir. You 
you got the honor part wrong, though, it's my honor to be here. Thank you. I think that's kind of the beauty of it. I mean, we always say, we feel like we get more out of it than, than y'all do, and y'all always feel like y'all get so much out of it. I think it's just, that's the beauty of it. So, I think it would be a great place in the whole world to work like that. Yes, it would. This, this trip to me is definitely like a once once in a lifetime opportunity. I'll, I'll never experience something like this. The hunting was excellent. I shot a beautiful old, old deer, but just being around these guys and talking to them, sharing their stories, us sharing our stories, and, and having that, that fellowship and having that, that passion for conservation and growing big deer, it's something that you know a lot, not a lot of people have, and it just makes for a good time. Heavenly Father, we would like to pause and give thanks for these things that so often get taken for granted. We know that none of this would be possible without your infinite wisdom, mercy, and love for all of us. We thank you for the countless blessings you give us and ask that you show us daily how to live our lives according to your will. We also ask that you guide our nation back toward your desires. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen.